Hey guys, um, here's another video for AP Physics C Mechanics and this is on kinetic energy of rotation and you know try to take a t take a look at the problem pause the video maybe you can solve it on your own um, okay so here goes I'm gonna explain how to do it so first of all I would begin with the um, this theorem which is the conservation of mechanical energy so the kinetic energy initially plus the potential energy initially is equal to the potential equal to the sorry it's supposed to be a U the kinetic energy final and the potential energy final UF sorry all right then again now we know that this is at rest so there is no initial kinetic energy and however there is potential energy why because this is two meters above and this has a certain mass so and the kinetic energy final is gonna be the kinetic energy not only of this block but also the rotational kinetic energy of this pulley which we'll see right now so the, the block will be one half mb squared this is just a regular um, the regular formula for kinetic energy and then for the rotational energy it's one half not I but you know the rotational analog for mass is inertia so it's I and then not V but um, the angular velocity you know to buy this Greek letter and then squared and then since it's going since it's asking for the for the speed of, of the block when it strikes the floor so that's going to be um, zero um, the height equals zero so then if the height equals zero relative to you know the ground then this goes away so we're left with this now what we have to do is solve for v now this is we can make this in terms of v by doing this simplification notice how the velocity divided by the radius is going to give us the angular velocity that's one of the important relationships for rotational dynamics it's always good to remember that relationship it's gonna help us out a lot and not only in this problem but in future problems and then it's being squared and then for I for this particular um, item which is a disk or uh, yeah a disk it's gonna be one half m r squared so we're gonna play that in for I And then we can cancel out r squared with r squared. And then we're going to be left with this 1 half and b squared plus 1 half big M. Notice how these two M's aren't the same. One of them is for the pulley, which is denoted by little m, and then the other one's for the, I mean, one of them is for the block, sorry, denoted by the. Um, M, the smaller M, and then the capital M is the mass of the pulley. Now, 
now we can factor out v squared because you can't really add these because these are not the same that's important because you know maybe you might confuse these for being the same value but they're not because if you do then you're gonna add them and then you're just gonna end up with a totally different answer so and just um, bringing up a common misconception so then mgh equals one half m plus big m we factor it out this term and then let me get another paper Now algebraically, I'm going to move this over here, so then you get mgh divided by one half. Sorry, um, and hopefully you picked up my mistake. I forgot the one half. And since it's uh, b squared. I'm going to take the square root of this whole thing. And then, all you have to do now is simply plug in these given values. So, take a look at them, write them down, and then I'm going to plug them in. So, then v equals square root of the mass of the, the don't remember don't confuse m with big m the mass of the block is um, five kilograms the gravity is ten just make it ten so it's simpler you know in the in the AP exam you might have to use that but I think it still doesn't even and then it wouldn't matter so it's just what we'll you use ten and then height is 2 because that's the original height when it's before it's dropped or before it rolls down or whatever and then one half mass of the block plus one half mass of the big old pulley which is 8 kilograms yes it is oh sorry and this is 5. I made a mistake, sorry. The mass of the block was 5. I put 2, I don't know why. I'm out of it today. So then this is 8. And then 5 times 10. 5 times 10 is 50 times 2 is 100. Divided by, um, well, wait, uh, you know, you guys can just put this on your calculator. But if you if you guys plug it in correctly, you should get four point seven meters per second. And that would be your final answer.